This is the Music History Today podcast for September 27th. On today's show, Metallica loses a member, the father of the blues releases the first blues song, and Lord premieres. First up, though, on this date in 1880, the Guildhall School of Music opened in London, England. In 1912, W.C. Handy released what's considered the first blues song, Memphis Blues. He didn't receive a lot of the profits from that, so on October 14, 1914, he re-released it under his own company. In 1938, Bob Hope debuted what became known as his signature song, Thanks for the Memories, during his radio show on NBC Radio. In 1942, Glenn Miller played his last concert before joining the United States Army. In 1954, the TV variety talk show The Tonight Show premiered on NBC. The first host was comedian Steve Allen. In 1962, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas recorded the song I'll Have to Let Him Go. In 1964, the Beach Boys performed on the Ed Sullivan TV show, which was their first national television performance. In 1967, the Beatles worked on the songs I Am the Walrus and Fool on the Hill. In 1970, Ted Mack's TV show Amateur Hour aired for the final time. In 1973, the TV concert show Don Kirshner's Rock Concert debuted. In 1976, Dolly Parton's TV variety show Dolly premiered on ABC television. In 1979, Elton John collapsed on stage from the flu during his concert in Hollywood, California. In 1980, Curtis Blow performed his song The Breaks on the TV music show Soul Train, becoming the first rap act to perform on national television. In 1990, Dee Dee Ramone of the Ramones was arrested for possession of marijuana in New York City. These days, he would not have been arrested for the amount he had on him. In 1995, Time Warner sold to Interscope Records to Jimmy Levine and Ted Field. In 1997, Bob Dylan played for Pope John Paul II at the World Eucharist Congress in Italy. On that same day in 1997, NXS played their last show with frontman Michael Hutchins. It was in Burgettstown, Pennsylvania. Hutchins died two months later. Also on that same day, 1997, rapper Coolio married disc jockey Josefa Salinas. In 2001, singer Jonathan King was found guilty of child molestation. In 2003, singer Eric Benet and actress Halle Berry announced that they were separating. In 2004, Phil Spector was indicted for the murder of actress Lana Clarkson. In 2005, the White Stripes webcasted a concert, becoming one of the first groups to do so. In 2007, Van Halen performed with David Lee Roth, taking back frontman duties from Sammy Hagar, along with Eddie Van Halen's son Wolfgang performing in place of departed bassist Michael Anthony. In 2008, singer and actress Scarlett Johansson married actor Ryan Reynolds. In 2016, the group Why Don't We was formed. Also on that same day, Bruce Springsteen released his autobiography, Born to Run. In 2019, the Judy Garland biopic Judy premiered in theaters, and Metallica stopped touring for a few months so that singer James Hetfield could go to rehab as James had relapsed. In 2021, a jury found R. Kelly guilty of sex trafficking and also racketeering. In 2022, a tribute concert of Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins was held by the Foo Fighters and other musicians in Los Angeles. Another tribute concert to the late drummer was held in London, England at Wembley Stadium only a few weeks earlier. Also on that exact same day, 2022, Lizzo played a flute that President James Madison owned during her concert in Washington, D.C. The flute was loaned to her by the Library of Congress so the library could get some publicity about their flute collection and to get people to come visit the collection. Conservative media instead turned it into yet another fake controversy. Happens on both sides, both conservatives and liberals. Anywho, in classical music, in 1855, George Frederick Bristow's opera Rip Van Winkle, considered the second American opera, premiered in New York City. 
In theater in 1947, the Broadway show Sweethearts closed, and in 1981, the Broadway show A Day in Hollywood, A Night closed. Albums that were released on September 27th include in 1968 when Chad and Jeremy released The Ark and Status Quo released picturesque, matchstickable messages from the status quo. In 1972, Cat Stevens released Catch Bull at Four. In 1975, Harry Chapin released Portrait Gallery. In 1976, Ringo Starr released his album Ringo's Rotograba in America. It was the last album to actually have all four Beatles on it, as they all worked on different songs. Separately, of course, not together. In 1982, The Fall released Room to Live. In 1982, same day, Depeche Mode released A Broken Frame. In 1984, Alphaville released Forever Young. In 1986, Cyndi Lauper released True Colors. New Order released The John Peel Sessions 1. Billy Squire released Enough is Enough. In 1988, Randy Newman released The Land of Dreams. In 1989, Tears for Fears released The Seeds of Love. In 1993, The Pet Shop Boys released very. In 1994, the Dave Matthews Band released Under the Table and Dreaming. Walter Becker released 11 tracks of Whack. Big Head Todd and the Monsters released Stratagem. Emerson Lake and Palmer released In the Hot Seat. Brandy Norwood released Brandy. The Moody Blues released Time Traveler. R.E.M. released Monster. And the Santana Brothers released Brothers. In 1996, Sasha and John Digwood released Northern Exposure. In 1999, the Cocktoo Twins released the BBC Sessions and Gary Moore released a different beat. In 2001, Billy Joel released Opus 1 through 10 Fantasies and Delusions, music for a solo piano. In 2005, Big Star released In Space, Tony Braxton released Libra, John Cale released Black Acetate, Robert Palmer released Legend live on stage, The Psychedelic Furs released Heartbreak Beat, The Everly Brothers released Give Me a Future, Boz Skaggs released Fade Into Light, and Neil Young released Prairie Wind. In 2006, the band released the Musical History box set. In 2010, Eric Clapton released Clapton. In 2011, Everclear released Return to Santa Monica. Machine Head released Unto the Locust. Matthew Sweet released Modern Art. And Youth Lagoon released The Year of Hibernation. And in 2013, Rush released Vapor Trails Remixed. And Lord released her debut album, Pure Heroin. Singles that were released on September 27th in the UK include in 1963 when Cilla Black released Love of the Loved and Chad and Jeremy released Yesterday's Gone. In 1993, Meatloaf released I'll Do Anything for Love But I Won't Do That. And in 2004, R.E.M. released Leaving New York. Meanwhile, in America, in 1968, The Hollies released Listen to Me. In 1974, Barbra Streisand released The Way We Were, and Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Promised Land and It's Midnight. In 1978, Dr. Hook released Sharing the Night Together. In 1980, Daryl Hall and John Oates released You've Lost That Lovin' Feelin'. In 1984, Alphaville released the song Forever Young to go with the same-day release of the album Forever Young. In 1986, singer Michael Johnson released Give Me Wings. In 1988, Huey Lewis and the News released Small World. In 1989, Billy Joel released We Didn't Start the Fire. In 1994, Madonna released Secret. In 1997, Everclear released I Will Buy You a New Life. In 2018, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper released Shallow from their version of the movie A Star is Born. And in 2019, Dove Cameron released Waste. 
Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 27th include singer Avril Lavigne, rapper Lil Wayne, singer Meatloaf, singer Mitski, singer Kehoe, Austin Carlisle of, of Mice and Men, rapper Trick Daddy, rapper Noisy, Sang Juan of Zeno T, Brad Arnold of Three Doors Down, Mark Caldero of Color Me Bad, Stephen Jenkins of Third Eye Blind, Chris Demakis of Less Than Jake, entertainer Sean Cassidy, singer Travis McRae, Robbie Shakespeare of Sly and Robbie, Greg Ham of Men at Work, Randy Bachman of Bachman Turner Overdrive, Don Nix of Booker T and the MGs, Jimmy Helms of London Beat, singer Alvin Stardust, singer Barbara Dixon, drummer Russ Kunkel, singer Linda Lewis, and Broadway producer and composer Vincent Eumanns. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 27th include opera singer Adelina Patti, who passed away in 1919 at the age of 76, composer Alan Gray passed away in 1935 at the age of 79, Composer Gerald Finzi passed away from shingles in 1956 at the age of 55. The band leader for the Sammy K show, Harry Reeser, passed away in 1965 at the age of 69. Violinist Milos Sokola passed away in 1976 at the age of 63. Singer and actress Gracie Fields passed away in 1979 at the age of 81. Singer Jimmy McCullough passed away from a heart attack brought on by drug issues in 1979 at the age of 26. Cliff Burton of Metallica passed away in a tour bus accident in 1986 at the age of 24. Composer Christopher Shaw passed away in 1995 at the age of 71. Organist Herman Berlinski passed away in 2001 at the age of 91. Musician Paul Burleson passed away in 2003 at the age of 74. Louis Satterfield of Earth, Wind & Fire's horn section, the Phoenix Horns, passed away in 2004 at the age of 67. Dale Houston of Dale & Grace passed away from heart issues in 2007 at the age of 67. Country music singer Johnny Country Mathis, not to be confused with crooner Johnny Mathis, passed away in 2011 at the age of 78. Johnny Wright of Johnny and Jack and also the group the Tennessee Mountain Boys passed away in 2011 at the age of 97. Singer R.B. Greaves passed away from cancer in 2012 at the age of 68. Jazz trombonist Eddie Burt passed away in 2012 at the age of 90. Gospel music singer Frank Edward Wilson passed away in 2012 at the age of 71. Wilton Felder of the group The Crusaders passed away in 2015 at the age of 71. Singer and actress Ann Jeffries passed away in 2017 at the age of 94. Singer Marty Ballin of Jefferson Airplane and also Jefferson Starship passed away in 2018 at the age of 76. And songwriter and producer Bob Etsy passed away in 2019 at the age of 72. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 28th, when in 1976, Stevie Wonder released the classic album Songs in the Key of Life. <laughs> 